In this video, I'm going to be ranking the top 10 best free cards in NBA 2K23, my team. Let me know in the comment section down below some of your guys' favorite free cards in the game, and let me know what you guys would change about my top 10 as well. But coming in at my number 10 spot, there was two different cards that I was going towards, and the one I ended up picking was Pink Diamond Devin Booker. Now, there is Diamond Sean Kemp, who I think probably might be better. I'm not exactly sure, so let me know in the comment section down below first. Who would you guys rather, at least as a card, Devin Booker or Sean Kemp? Me, personally, I went with Devin Booker, but I'm kind of thinking it might be Sean Kemp. I'm not exactly sure but booker is a shooting guard small forward six foot six with a six foot six wingspan he doesn't necessarily fit the meta of the game but him having a 94 three ball 96 mid-range with 90 speed 90 acceleration and these really good hall of fame shooting badges i think he's going to be great on the offensive end hall of fame limitless dead eye catch and shoot blinders amped and agent three and he's also got hall of fame handles for days so i think offensively the card's going to be a beast and i feel like he'll be fine on the defensive side of things i do think he's also got a really good jump shot as well on that quick release timing so i think Devin Booker is going to be the 10th best free card in the game. Coming in, I'm at number nine spot is going to be Diamond Donovan Mitchell. He's a shooting guard point guard, six foot one with a six foot ten wingspan. You guys know a lot about Donovan Mitchell by now. We all know he's a really good point guard. He's got 93 speed, 93 acceleration. He's going to be really good at going to the basket. Maybe not on the same, maybe not on the same level as guys like John Wall, Russell Westbrook, but I do think D Mitch can definitely get to the rim. 90 driving dunk with also having a 93 speed with ball, but he's going to be a great defender for for someone who's six foot one. You might think is a little bit undersized but donovan mitchell feels like 6'3 6'4 in game probably due to that wingspan and some really good defense in game so donovan mitchell going to be the ninth best free card coming in on my number eight spot is going to be the diamond uh diamond iguodala i think he's a really really good two-way card at least at this point of the year he's got 95 perimeter 95 lateral quickness with a 95 steal i mean you can't really get that much better on the defensive side of things he's also got hall of fame clamps and hall of fame menace and then two-way i think he's got a good jump shot right i'm not exactly sure you know, if it's the best jump shot in the game, it's definitely not that crazy good, but I feel like if you're wide open, you should be able to green very consistently. And then he does have the Michael Jordan dribble style, and he's going to be a really good slasher with a 95 driving dunk. So overall, guys, I think Iguodala going to be an amazing free card. Coming in at my number seven spot, this is a very underrated card, guys, that I haven't heard anybody talking about, and that is Diamond Dennis Rodman. This dude is an absolute beast. We all know he's going to be amazing on the defensive side of things. 90 block, 90 steal, 90 perimeter with a 94 interior defense. Like this Dennis Rodman, card he's probably one of the best if not the best defenders in the game because he's also got hall of fame anchor box out beast rebound chaser and workhorse and then he's got every other uh every other def uh, defensive badge at least on gold yes he can't really shoot the ball that well only a 73 ball but if you have a coach boost and a shoe boost we can get this up to a 79 three ball and then you have the floor general like this can be like an 82 83 three ball and he's also got a pretty decent jump shot as well so dennis Rodman obviously going to be amazing on the defensive side of things 94 speed or 89 i think if you had yeah, 89 if you don't have a coach but he's obviously going to be great you know have good athleticism 90 strength 90 vertical and overall i think dennis Rodman for being a free card is going to be one of the better ones in the game coming in at my number six spot i think number six and number five was another very hard decision but at my number six spot i'm gonna go with pink diamond james worthy he's a power forward small forward six foot nine with a seven foot wingspan we all know why james worthy so good he's just gonna be a great all-around card but a really good rim runner and a really good slasher having what seven hall of fame finish badges i'm pretty sure that's seven or maybe even eight i think that's actually eight hall of fame finishing badges and he does have 90 speed 90 acceleration 90 driving dunk he's just going to be a very complete card with actually having a really good jump shot obviously the john wall base is one of the best bases this year so i think james worthy is going to be the sixth best free card and like i said guys i'm a number five spot i think number five you know being russell westbrook and number six being james worthy i think you guys could flip flop that if you really want i think worthy I don't know. I would take Russ over Worthy, but I think it's very, very close. And the reason is, I think Russ is probably the best point guard in the game. It's either him or John, uh, John Wall right now, in my opinion. But Russell Westbrook, a point guard, shooting guard, six foot three with a six foot seven wingspan. Russ is just going to be fitting the meta perfectly this year. And the meta is having these athletic point guards that are really, really good at slashing and really good at finishing around the rim. And that is exactly where Russ is going to be, having a 98 speed, 98 acceleration with a 95 driving dunk. He's going to be great playmaking as well. 94 ball handle with a 98 speed with ball it is very hard to stay in front of this card and very hard to guard and he's also going to be a great defender or at least a capable defender 87 perimeter 95 lateral with a 90 steal as well so russell westbrook going to be the fifth best free card in the game coming in at the number four spot guys this is where we start to get to some of the better cards in the game which is nice that they are absolutely free now you can't get 
you know multiple opals on one on one singular team i think you guys could guess there's going to be three opals on this tier list but i mean clyde drexler at the number four spot i think he's an amazing shooting guard small forward six foot seven with a six foot ten wingspan and once again kind of like russ fits the meta perfectly the meta this year guys is being able to slash at the basket and basically being unstoppable going to the rim and clyde drexler is going to be perfect at that 98 driving dunk 94 speed 94 acceleration with also having that 97 vertical as well and then look at the hall of fame finishing badges hall of fame acrobat aerial wizard fast twitch fearless finisher limitless takeoff and post riser which are really good hall of fame finishing badges also having slithery and then even playmaking he's got hall of fame ankle breaker clamp breaker like clamp breaker is one of the best badges in the game and he's also got hall of fame hyper drive and quick first step with having hall of fame chase down off ball pest pogo stick workhorse having 15 hall of fame badges guys this clyde drexler card one of the better shooting guards in the game so definitely gonna be one of the best free cards coming in at my number three spot though i think scotty pippen is a little bit better than clyde now, if you want to say Clyde's better, I definitely wouldn't disagree with that, but I think Scottie Pippen is probably the better defender. He has the better jump shot and also going to be really good at going to the rim, but Clyde Drexler is going to be a better slasher than Scottie Pippen, but I think Scottie Pippen is probably better at everything else, and he's going to provide a lot more defense with also having a really good jump shot. So Scottie Pippen going to be the third best free card in my opinion. Coming in at the number two spot is going to be Opal Jimmy Butler. I think number one is very obvious of who it's going to be, but Jimmy Butler, I think, I think number four, three, and two. Two, I think you could kind of flip flop around however you want. In my opinion, I think Jimmy Butler is the best shooting guard in the game and is going to be the second best Opal. And all of these cards on this guy, every card in this tier list, every card in this top 10 guys is obviously going to be free, which is crazy to think about because these are some of the best cards in the game. And that's something I think my team's done a great job this year is giving us some really, really good free cards and making these cards we're grinding for some of the better cards, if not the best cards in the game, at least at their position. So Jimmy Butler, I mean, we all know why he's going to be super elite, a top defender, probably the one one of the best defenders in the game at least if we're talking about on the perimeter so jimmy butler we all know why he's super elite and then same thing with the guy at number one spot the number one spot is going to be opal anthony davis we all know why he's super elite power forward center six foot ten with a seven foot two wingspan i mean you guys can see the stats he's a very well-rounded card has a really good jump shot has the normal leaner and the michael jordan dribble style for a card that's a power forward and center he can move really well he's a great defender really good in the pick and roll really good in the pick and pop and overall just going to be one of the better power forwards and centers in the game but let me know in the comment section down below who are some of your guys favorite free cards in the game right now and let me know what you guys are changing about my top 10 and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace